in this video i am going to explain what is partial fraction decomposition when to do it and how to do it so let's start with the first question what is partial fraction decomposition it is the process of representing a complicated fraction as a sum of simpler fraction for example when we use partial fraction decomposition on this fraction 6x minus 2 upon x square plus x minus 6 it can be written as 4 upon x plus 3 plus 2 upon x minus 2 you can see that these two fractions are much more simpler than the previous fraction 6x minus 2 upon x square plus x minus 6 understand when partial fraction decomposition is possible for that consider the fraction p of x upon q of x where both p of x and q of x are polynomials we say partial fraction decomposition is possible only if degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator in this case if degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x then partial fraction decomposition is possible here now once the criteria is fulfilled we will see how to do this decomposition very first of all we will factorize the denominator as completely as possible and after that we use the following table for each factor in the denominator to determine the terms in the partial fraction decomposition look at this table the first column entries represents the possible factors in the denominator and the second column entries represents the corresponding entries or terms in the partial fraction decomposition for example if the factor in the denominator is like ax plus b then this term we will add in the partial fraction decomposition a upon ax plus b where this capital a is a constant term which is to be determined similarly if the factor in the denominator is of the type ax plus b whole raised to k where k is some positive integer then we will add these k terms in the partial fraction decomposition namely a1 upon ax plus b plus a2 upon ax plus b whole square plus up to ak upon ax plus b whole raised to k where a1 a2 ak are constants to be determined similarly for factors like ax square plus bx plus c and ax square plus bx plus c whole raised to k these two terms can be added in the partial fraction decomposition for more clarity let's see this example over here we have to find the partial fraction decomposition of 7x minus 4 upon x square minus 2x minus 8 very first of all we will check the criteria whether it is possible to find partial fraction decomposition for this fraction over here in the numerator degree of this polynomial is 1 and in the denominator degree of the polynomial is 2 so degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator therefore partial fraction decomposition is possible now we proceed by factorization of the denominator denominator is x square minus 2x minus 8 it can be factorized into x plus 2 into x minus 4 further factorization is not possible now we use the table which i showed in the previous slide to write the terms in the partial fraction decomposition 7x minus 4 upon x plus 2 upon x minus 4 is the now new fraction over here denominator terms are of the type ax plus b both the terms x plus 2 and x minus 4 are of the type ax plus b therefore we will add a upon the same factor plus b upon x minus 4 in the partial fraction decomposition a upon x plus 2 for this factor and b upon x minus 4 for this factor now after cross multiplication on the right hand side we will have the numerator a into x minus 4 plus b into x plus 2 and denominator will be x plus 2 into x minus 4 after comparing both the sides we can write 7x minus 4 is equal to 
a into x minus 4 plus b into x plus 2. Now we open the brackets on the right hand side, then we will have 7x minus 4 is equal to ax minus 4a plus bx plus 2b. Now comparing both the sides for x terms and constant terms, we have 7x on the left hand side is equal to ax plus bx. Later on cancelling x on both the side, we will have a plus b is equal to 7. And comparing constant terms in this equation on both the sides, we have minus 4 is equal to minus 4a plus 2b. These are non-x terms. So we have now two equations in a and b. We can solve them simultaneously for the values of a and b. You can use calculator for this as well. So we found a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4 fulfills these two equations. Now once the values of a and b are found, we will substitute them over here in this equation. So now we can write 7x minus 4 upon x plus 2 into x minus 4 as 3 upon x plus 2 plus 4 upon x minus 4. In this way, one can use partial fraction decomposition to write any par fraction as a sum of simple fractions. Now these are a couple of practice examples that you can solve at home. These are their solutions. Guys, don't forget to write me in the comment. Thank you all of you.